Okay, so this is going to be a video about the case studies for detailed examples of two or more societies with contrasting vulnerability to climate change. So the case studies we'll be using are Israel, oh, not Israel, <laughs> the, Sw the Swiss Alps ski resorts and the Nuna Vimeut in northern Canada. Okay, so we're going to contrast these because overall the Swiss Alps arguably has less vulnerability and this Nuna Vumiat area um, has arguably more um, vulnerability. Okay, so let's think of the issues. So the issues in this area in terms of climate change are 90% of income comes from tourism, typically 44% of global skiers go there annually, so tourism, large industry impacted by climate change, snow thickness has fallen due to climate change, so it's bad for the skiing business, 25% of resorts are already at low altitudes, sentimental value of the resorts as they have existed since the 1950s. Okay, so what are the solutions that have, they have tried to use? So they've relocated or tried to relocate some resorts to higher altitudes to kind of um, the areas with thicker snow, less melt, less impacts from climate change. They've adapted using geotourism and ecotourism to kind of lessen their carbon footprint and attract visitors in that way because they know they're not harming the local environment, providing expensive options that use ad adaptation strategies. However, this isn't very good because only the kind of high income owners can really afford this um, and it's kind of not really a sustainable option. Subsidize, sub, <laughs> subsidization of the industry um, to kind of provide the businesses with money to then kind of invest it into new opportunities to improve and adapt to this issue of climate change and also maybe changing their activities from skiing to hiking which kind of doesn't rely on the snowfall as much okay then we contrast this to Nuna Vumiat in northern Canada so what are the issues here in terms of climate change well the inhabitants have already established a culture with heavy, heavily adapted survival skills to the climate so they're very used to it already. The climate change is creating a very unprecedented um, situation for them. Hunting and fishing is traditional. They use their high skills to predict the climate naturally. So they have a very acute kind of ability to sense the environmental conditions and relate that to their kind of hunting and fishing practices. There have been increased mercury levels in lakes that impacts fish um, populations and also just their general water supply quality. There's been food insecurity increasing because of you know, all these factors. They have had to rely on imports. There's been an increase in disease vulnerability due to changing climate. Permafrost is melted. That releases methane. Cracks in the tarmac of the airport due to climate change. So less ability for trade and travel. Um, okay, so what are the solutions? Well, there are not, have not been in a huge amount of solutions. One significant one has been growing the shipping industry, however that creates a risk of spillage and oil spillage, for example. And other than that, it's very difficult for these um, people to adapt to the um, to, to adapt to the new conditions of climate change because they have arguably less resources and kind of skill and ability to do so. So these are very good examples because they're very clear examples of contrasting vulnerability to climate change.